Hey, greetings YouTube. I want to talk about air purifiers here, particularly the Blue Air 500 series here in the middle. I also have a 400 series for reference, and I have the gold standard, the IQ Air. Now, if you haven't tuned into my videos before, um, you might want to hit the subscribe button because I do all sorts of vacuum reviews and appliance reviews from a technician's point of view, which is very different than most stay-at-homes and things like that who usually review uh, stuff like this. So when, when people look at this, the Blue Air lineup, the thing you see is value, and the, these machines are very reasonably priced for what they are. Um, I think the next competitor would be Austin Air. When we have machines like the IQ Air that are going to start you off at seven or eight hundred dollars and go up to about twelve hundred, that makes this Blue Air very competitive at under five hundred bucks. You can get either of these. The question is, what do you get? What do they do? What are the pros and cons? And why would you buy one of these? So I think the value proposition is the number one reason you buy Blue Air, because they're fairly high quality for what you pay for without having to go pay Swiss, Swiss money for a Swiss machine. Um, that is being said, these are designed out of Sweden and they're, they're globally outsourced depending on the model where they're assembled. Um, they do make some, we're gonna call them smart models where they have too much electronics on them. They have like your smartphone control and they integrate to Alexa and all that. I can't see any reason why you'd wanna integrate your ear purifier to Alexa. Now comment below if you see a reason the only thing I could think of is maybe replacement filters, but I think your calendar function in your phone would work just fine for that. So that's just my two cents. So first thing is we see that these two machines look very similar, and this appears just to be a bigger version of that. That is incorrect. These mechanically work very differently, and I wanna explain that. So I'm a big fan of the 400 series Blue Air. And the reason I'm a big fan of it open this up, just make sure we're in frame here, yeah, close enough, uh, is it sucks in air through a filter, then to the fan, and then into the room. This keeps the fan free of hair, dust, debris, and inherently forces all the air through the filter. Now, as you see, there's a gap here. There's not a gasket here, but that negative air pressure makes up for that. So that's one reason I really like this. You see, this just opens up very easy for maintenance. In fact, all of these are easy for maintenance. Mechanically, the 500 series or 600 series works very differently. So the, uh, the last step is the filter. The first step is the fan. So it's gonna go through, through the bottom grate. And when we look at this, you can see this has been operating in my house. So there's a bottom grate. One thing about all of these, they all share the same standard power plug, like a computer or something like that, if you're not familiar with this plug. So that means you don't have to worry about replacing the cord, and it gives you a lot of cord options in terms of length. You can easily go buy an aftermarket cord for this. I like that. Now I do like also the 500 series is on wheels. So going back to the meat and grit of this, is all the electronics, the fan, all that is on the bottom here, and it's gonna suck all the dirty air through all that stuff before it gets to the filters. And that, there are two negatives to that. One, that could potentially allow debris that's floating around in the room to break that stuff. The second negative to that is it's blowing into the filter, which means the only thing keeping the filter in contact is the cover. Now I've modified my cover to help push down and really keep it uh, down firmly. What that, what that means though is when you turn it on, and I'm going to turn it on and you get a gross demonstration of this. You see how that lifts up like that? It's now lifting the filter up there. You can see the filter is floating. So without these covers, That means that this filter is being pushed away from the fan, which means some dirty air on this particular unit is going to leak out in between these, which have absolutely no seals. And we can see there's dirt, there's dust right here. This is right there, you can see the dust. And why there is dust in the filter 
dust is leaking around this filter. We can, I'll use my other hand. You can see that there's some there. So that, that's something to be concerned. So if you have severe allergies and you're using this machine, I can't say I'm gonna recommend this. Um, I can't say it's gonna make the air in your room worse, but it's not gonna have the filter effectiveness of some of these other machines. Now, Blue Air has come out with some new body styles where they've addressed this issue, supposedly. What they've done is they've copied the IQ Air. And again, I'm not advocating really that you, one is, well, the IQ Air is better, but it, or not, that's not the purpose of this video. Um, but the IQ Air has a HEPA filter, a fan, and then either a charcoal filter and another HEPA filter, or a set of charcoal filters and a HEPA filter. But the fan is sandwiched in between filters which means the fan can only blow through the filters and then it's sealed up pretty well the way that these, these bodies are made for that. Again, not really here to talk about the IQ Air. I've got another video all on that. But what I want to talk about is this. Because again, the value of this machine is there. It does a large square footage for what it is. It's very quiet. That's my favorite thing about it. So that machine is on high. Second setting, super quiet. And when we have it on the lower settings, you can barely even hear it. I would say maybe the lights in my room are louder than this. Whereas this guy, very quiet as well. It's just not as quiet when you go to bed at night, because I've had these both in my bedroom. Actually, I've had all three of these in my bedroom at one point. Uh, all jokes aside, um, this, this just is absolutely quiet, and that's because of its three fan blade design. This is a squirrel cage fan, but this is really quiet, and I really like that about this unit. Now, with the IQ Air, just to give a little bit of a comparison here, That's one of its like medium settings. Kind of lower setting of the IQ Air now. So give so the IQ Air is not as quiet. That being said, the IQ Air moves significantly more air or CFM is what you'll see listed on the website uh, than these guys. But again, enough about the IQ Air. Back to the Blue Air. So the value proposition is good. The other thing with the Blue Air is, unlike the IQ Air and some of the others, there are a ton of companies making aftermarket filters for these. So I think that that really adds to the value proposition is I was able to get replacement filters. I was able to find these for under 50 bucks. So, and you're supposed to change them every six months. So that's kind of nice, I can find that. And then for the little guy, I'm, I'm usually finding them around $30. Again, USD 2019 money, that can vary at any time, but again, very, very good for replacement. Now I went with genuine blue air filters. When I replaced them last time, I was able to find a deal on them. I really searched and found a deal. So I'll put links in the description to all these products, just so you know. Um, also, I am an Amazon affiliate. It is the way of the world now on YouTube, so just heads up with that. But I want to smoke test this machine and show you kind of what it does on the smoke test in terms of if it passes that at least. All right, we're going to smoke test the blue air. I've got it on its highest setting, and I'm not saying this is scientific or anything. This is not a particle test. This is just a simple high particulate test that's easy and pretty affordable to do. So let's hit it with some smoke. And see how it does. Now remember it's going to suck in on the bottom and clean air comes out the top. It's pretty good. It's not the best, but it's pretty darn good. Let's give it one more squirt to see how that works. Alright, 
seems to be working pretty well. I've tested machines that do a lot worse than this. I've tested a few machines like the IQ Air that do better in this test. But it's not bad. So one thing I want to emphasize is the size of this. I've got a vacuum cleaner here, kind of for scale reference, since we all know what a vacuum cleaner is, what the size of one is. Um, and you can see that this machine is wide, it's big. Um, I can't say that it really takes up any more room or less room than the IQ Air, which is a little taller, but usually we're talking the square footprint. I can't say really it's any different. I recommended one of these IQ Airs to a friend of mine. They said it was too big, too expensive, and they wanted something smaller, so my next recommendation was a Blue Air. And, but I said it's not any smaller. They said, well, the pictures make it look smaller. It really is pretty darn big. I, I would definitely say the 400 series is smaller, or the 200 series. So keep that in mind with the Blue Air products. Is some of them are bigger than you think especially when we're talking about doing square footage. Now, I use the IQ Air in my living room open kitchen space. It is for kitchen dust, stuff like that. That's what it's used for. I do not use the Blue Air for that. The Blue Air is a bedroom machine, at least in this size. It's rated for the size of my bedroom. That's what I use it for. The smaller unit was not rated for the size of my bedroom. It was too small and I basically had to keep it on high and it still didn't work that good. So this is bigger is better if your room is bigger. So just something to keep in mind. I really, really kind of like the value of this machine. Now there's another little secret to my Blue Air that you might not be so lucky is I found my Blue Air second hand. I paid $8 for mine, plus I had to buy new filters for it. So just going to disclose that. I got this secondhand and I took it completely apart and sanitized it. So if you get one of these secondhand, be prepared to do that. I'm going to tell you right now, 99% of you aren't going to be able to do that with this machine the way it's built. The other machine, the 400 series, you sh people should have no trouble doing that. But the way this is built, taking it apart, it gets a little bit technical. I should have done a video on that, but I didn't. So that's what I think of the Blue Air 500 series machine. Good value. If you can spring for the Austin Air, you can spring for an IQ Air. I would highly recommend it over that. But this definitely beats the socks off of your Home Depot, Walmart, Best Buy, any of those run-of-the-mill air purifiers. This definitely much better. So that being said, thanks for watching, folks. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe bell icon and the notification bell. I won't hit you too much with notifications, but that it helps us a lot.